Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan, and today's video is all about PIE, post-inflammatory erythema. Right, so when you get acne, three things, three types of scars can take place brown scars, red scars, or indented scars, also known as PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, that's the brown scars, post-inflammatory erythema, that's the red scars, or you can get atrophic scarring, so that is the indented scarring. It can also be known as ice pick scars or rolling scars. Right, so today we're going to be focusing on the red acne scars, PIE. Now what happens is when you after you have acne or you have a spot there's inflammation taking place in the skin now this can actually damage the capillaries that are very close to the surface and that's why you notice those red marks the problem is actually for skin of color often these red marks then turn to brown marks pih post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation because to be honest any form of inflammation in skin of color can trigger the melanocytes the cells producing the pigment melanin and those cells then start to overproduce pigment and that's when you see the brown marks that's why red marks can turn to brown marks in skin of color now the treatment actually for both types of scarring is different because pie is about damage to the capillaries is not a pigmentation issue whereas PIH is a pigmentation issue. So they actually require different treatments and different ingredients. Now, often people get confused at home about whether they have PIE or PIH. So a very simple test you can do is to literally take a glass and put it uh, up against your cheek. If you can look through the glass and those red marks disappear, first they go white and then they disappear, then it's PIE. It's a capillary issue. If, however, you press it up against the skin and the brown marks are still there, then it's PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So first of all, that's the first thing you must do so you know actually what you're treating and make sure that you are using the correct ingredients. Right, so once you discover it, that you actually do have PIE, post-inflammatory erythema, what should you do? What are the best products? What should your routine be? So the first thing I'd say is start with the wash, the, how you wash the skin. So I would use 2% salicylic acid wash. There are lots of different brands. Um, the two most common in the Western world, for example, would be 2% uh, salicylic acid from The Ordinary, which is very well priced, or the alternative is Paula's Choice 2% salicylic acid wash, also called VHA. So that's quite good because what that does is it goes quite deep into the pore, it cleans out the pore for you, and it's also an anti-inflammatory, so it helps to reduce any further acne. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see being made actually with acne prone skin is using alcohol in your toners or alcohol in your skincare. I would avoid this because what you're basically doing is stripping the essential oils from your skin. You're increasing trans epidermal water loss. So basically you're losing hydration from the skin and that then dries the skin out, which means that your skin is now no longer in a healing environment. You need hydration in the skin for your skin to recover, especially if you have PIE. So please, the first thing you need to remove from your skincare routine is alcohol. I know when you wear it, you have this instant um, sensation of improving your skin because your skin suddenly feels squeaky clean when often it's felt oily but I would avoid. Okay, so the actives that I would recommend, I'd start off with niacinamide. Niacinamide 10% has been shown to reduce erythema, so that's the redness in the skin. Um, so you can purchase that from The Ordinary at a very decent price point. The next one I would recommend is your vitamin C. Vitamin C is a very powerful antioxidant and you want to do this because you want to mop up free radicals from the skin. Free radicals can cause further inflammation, further damage to the skin. So it's important to make sure that we definitely have an antioxidant in our skincare routine. The other one that I recommend is green tea extract because that's an antioxidant, it's a powerful antioxidant, but it's also an anti-inflammatory too, which is obviously something that we need to be doing with PIE. The next thing that we need to do is to make sure we're protecting that skin barrier and the acid mantle of the skin. So hydration really is essential. There are lots of different ways to do this. You can use NMF plus hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary range 
which is natural moisturizing factor, which is good at hydrating the skin. You can use basically any form of emollient. Another thing that people tend to use actually are silicone sheets, which is an occlusive on top of your emollient so that you are basically preventing any transepidermal water loss and you're locking that moisture into the skin. Um, you can try that, see how you get on, because obviously you don't want to clog the pores at the same time and you don't want to have any more breakouts, but you want to keep that water locked into the skin. So find where your balance is, because everyone's skin's a little bit different. So the other one I've heard a lot about is V-beam laser. Now, V-beam laser is still a laser. And ultimately, when it comes to skin of color, laser can lead to thermal energy thermal energy scatter in the skin, which can inflame the skin and lead to more pigmentation. So although you may get good results with it, the side effect could be more pigmentation. And that's why I just feel like it's it's just not worth it. So if I were you, I would avoid that therapy. Now, if your concern was PIH, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, make sure you watch my video on dark marks. I go into a lot of detail about the ingredients that you need and the percentages. If you want me to make a new video on atrophic scarring, so that's ice pick scarring where the texture of the skin has changed, I will do that for you. Please, can you write down in the comments below, yes, or more scars, please. And if there's any other videos that you want me to do on whether it comes to for acne, whether it, whether it's food, whether it's lifestyle or whatever you want me to do. The other one I get asked a lot about is actually monthly breakouts. Um, I can do that for you as well. So please just write down below what you want from me and you know I'll make it for you. Thank you very much for listening.